Okay, so we want to know how many uh, radians in 60 degrees. So let's imagine what 60 degrees looks like. That's just a little bit less than 90, right? So right about right there. Okay, so how many radians is 60 degrees? Let's just do the same thing we did last time. So 360 degrees equals two pi radians. Now, I think if we divide both sides by, by what? Gives us 60. I think if we divide both sides by six, 360 divided by six will give us 60. So divide both sides by six and 60 degrees equals something or another. But let's say you didn't know that we were supposed to divide by six, because I think that's uh, something you kind of have to play with a calculator with. Let's say you were completely, you didn't know. Uh, so I think the best strategy for this one, and it's even more powerful than last strategy, is just divide both sides by 360 first. 360. Now we have one degree equals two pi radians over 360. Now what we can do is just take this side right here and multiply it by 60 to get 60 degrees. So if you get to one, if you just divide both sides by 360, then all you have to do is multiply by whatever number you want. So you want 72 degrees? Well, hey, divide by 360 first, then multiply by 72. Uh, then you could, you could figure it out that way. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, both sides, let's multiply by 60. And then 60 degrees equals 60 times, remember that this is 60 divided by one. So 60 gets multiplied to the top. So these two get multiplied, 120. The pi is still there. The radians is still there, divided by 360. Now let's go ahead and finish this up. So 120 divided by 360. I think what I want to do is not use my calculator. Uh, what I want to do is say 120 pi radians divided by 360. And I know 3 times 120 is 360. And I wanted that 120 so that I can cross these 120s out. 120 cancels with 120. And then we get 60 degrees equals pi over three radians. And you might ask, is it okay if I write one third pi radians? Yeah, that's the, that's the same thing. And, and either one is, 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 is uh, the right answer and one isn't more correct than the other. So pi over three radians is just fine or one third pi radians. These are the same thing. Well, let's, let's look at another piece right here. So right here, you could take 120 divided by 360. 120 divided by 360, which would give you 0.3333 in the calculator. So then what you would do is just write, well, 0.3333. So this divided by this is 0.33333. And I think you might know that that's one third. And then, then, uh, the remaining pi radians exist. So pi radians, that's another, you might've gone that route too, and that's, that's just fine.